Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. My name is David and welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've been in my craft room. Well, that is, I have been in my craft room. I've just been working on some secret projects. Exciting times ahead. But anyways, won't rabble on about that. I just wanted to play tonight because I've been pretty busy with work and with designing and with making samples. Well, you know, it's fun. But uh, yeah, now I just wanted to play and have some fun. And I just thought while I'll do that, switch on the camera so you can join in with me so welcome we're gonna have some fun uh, so let's switch the cameras and uh, let's get started shall we so I'm gonna be working with this beautiful stamp set it's called the English countryside 2 um, I'm in love with these butterflies fairly that's what it is I've been playing with them a lot um, as you can see this stamp is well loved um, but yeah I'm gonna use it again tonight um, I'm going to experiment a bit, so it could be that it fails, but I'm going to use the stamps and I'm going to use the dice. Um, and I'm going to use some white embossing powder, some um, clear embossing powder. I've got my card bases ready here. This is my card base, a black panel, a white panel. So um, I'm going to use my Elizabeth Craft Designs watercolor pencils. Um, so I'm going to open that one up, put that there. Uh, I've got a Lavinia brush. It's uh, I like these cat. How do you call them? Uh, cat cat tongue, I think. Well, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, so, but first things first. I'm gonna stamp this one out in black, um, and I'm gonna do that um, right in the middle. So, let me ink this one up using first of all black. giving that a good layer. Let me have a look because there's a smooth side and a textured side. I want it on the smooth side. So there we go. And then I'm sort of eyeballing what is the center. Let me, this will help a bit. Like, um, Here, 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 right there. Let's just go for it, right? And I'm giving that ink some time to sink in because this is a structured paper, so I want to give that some time. Hopefully, we get a nice impression. And we did. These stamps are fantastic. They're stamped beautiful. So let's get my clear embossing powder out. and cover that beautiful butterfly with that embossing powder. Yeah, good enough. That is good. So this is wow embossing powder. I've just got that into the big, uh, out of the big container into the plastic boxes. Right, I'm gonna melt this and then we'll be back. Okay, so that one is nicely melted. You see the shine of the embossing powder. So we're going to continue with this one. And I'm going to stamp this one out with Versafine. Uh, sorry, Versamark, that is. Just ink that beauty up. And I'm going to position him right there. And as with the black onyx, I'm giving this time to adhere to the paper. Now I'm using clear because I'm going to use white. So I just want this to be... Uh, he can fly off a bit, that's fine. There we go. I'm not sure you can see. Yeah, you can see the impression there. So that is that. Let me close this up before I mess it up. That would be easy to do for me. Okay, this is the WOW white embossing powder. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Like 
like so. there yeah okay that's clear to go so let's melt these two white butterflies okay now this is nicely melted you can see the shiny white butterflies and um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to spray the back of this card make that wet a bit and spray the front as well. So the water soaks into the paper already. That helps with the water coloring in a second. I'm going to put these to the side because we don't need them. And then I'm going to take my watercolor palette, which is well loved. You can see that. Um, I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm going to um, spray that a bit with water. That will help to get the pigment started. I will get my brush out and I will start with the darker red, which is this one. Just got a big tub of water over there. I'm going to activate that pigment. And just go over that card like so. What you can see is that white is resisting uh, the ink already. Um, my yellow and I'm putting that on and then I'm working that into my red now red and yellow create yes orange so what I'm doing effectively is creating sort of a rainbow So next I'm coming in with blue. I'm taking the dark blue. Putting that on. And then I'm coming back with my yellow. Make sure your br brush is clean. Coming back in with a yellow. and create that green shade in between. Beautiful bright colors, these watercolors from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I, I thoroughly enjoy them. Um, and last but not least, I'm coming in with my purple here at the bottom. And I'm covering the whole card, the whole panel, because I want that whole thing to be covered with the, the pigment and the color. Bringing in a bit more of that blue. And I think that is enough. And last, I want to intensify the red at the top a bit by mixing these two, the darker, almost purpley, uh, not pinkish red, just intensifying that here at the top a bit. Rinsing out my brush again and water that down so it blends nicely. In with the rest. There we go. So, that is all my coloring already done simple and clean well not clean but quick that is not clean um, but it, I think it's gonna turn out beautiful you know you've got this idea in your head sometimes and you just want to try it this was one of these days so I'm just gonna help that along a little bit with my heat tool if you're at home and you're not in a rush just let it air dry next I'm taking a baby wipe which is, well, I forgot to close it, so it's not as wet as it should be. And so I've just used some water to wet that down. And I'm going to use that to 
um, go and clean this white embossing powder make it bright white again because this is watercolor so you can clean it off and this is sort of a plastic layer embossing you see nice bright white There we go. Now I'm not going to be worried too much about it being a bit warped because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, come on. I'm going to use my uh, die to cut this part out. So I'm just going to line that up. Uh, sorry if my head is in the way, but I have to, they're quite easy to line up, but just put it to the side here. You have to have your head over it, which is not always an easy task when you're filming. But I think I've got it quite right, like this. And there we have a beautiful butterfly. Love this. And our panel. So carefully I will remove the tape. Okay, so now this is nice and bright. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue this all together. So it's quite a simple card, but uh, it's a fun one. At least I think it's going to be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, in this case, I'm going to take my tape runner. Uh, just, as, just a normal glue thingy. Um, but I want all these little bits and pieces to be stuck down well. And since this panel is yeah, it had some beating up with all the water and the heating. So I just want to make sure it's everywhere. But I don't want any glue to ooze out. You'll get that in a second. Just let me line this up correctly. Now that's quite a challenge, but now it's got a beautiful border all around. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my butterfly um, and I'm going to bend his wings up. Just going to leave his body flat, just bend the wings up ever so slightly, like so. And then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put my glue right here. My glue is, yeah, just at the body just at the body of the butterfly. And put that in there, like so. And I love the effect of the black shadow shining under there. Uh, but I want to do one more thing, because I think this is a bit... Hmm. So I've got this little box of jewels, and my jewels, by jewels I mean my pen nips. I'm going to put one right there. So again, I'm going to take my glue and put some glue on here. Give that glue some time to adhere because obviously this is metal, so it's not going to be, it doesn't want to be glued down easily, but it will eventually. There, it grabbed hold. Now I will glue this panel onto my card base. And I will just use my glue for that because that's easy, right? Gives me some wiggle time. But I didn't want the glue to ooze out um, and stain my black. Despite the fact that this will dry clear and matte, because that's why I, part of why I love this glue. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to risk it at this stage. So that's that. And glue that onto my card, like so. 
Now I've done a lot of projects already with uh, with these butterflies and I just love how versatile they are. You can use them in many, 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 many different ways as I have done already. I think I've got some here as well. Look, this is another sample I made. Completely different cards. This is another sample I made. What is this on there? Um, so yeah, you can see different cards, different feelings, but I love this one as well. I just need to have a sentiment. Now for the sentiment I'm gonna use, Craft designs, just decide which one I'll use. Um, or just sending hugs. I think I'm going to use sending hugs again. I've used that one so many times, but yeah. So I've got my scrap piece of paper here. Let's just use that one. Why not? It's an oldie but a goodie. Well, it's not that old. It's, it came out last year, but. It's well loved. So I'll stamp that here at the bottom. That went well. Then I will get my clear embossing powder because then it'll match up with the black that I've used there. There we go. And he said that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this onto a black base layer because I want the color to come back. But I'm just debating, do I want that on their white? Yes, I do, because then the white comes back from the butterflies, it pulls it up a bit. Um, I'm just going to make a very small border on here as well. So I will just glue this on. Yeah, I love that. I love that little black border around. Um, now I'm just going to pop that up a bit, so I'll get my, so I've got my foam squares here. I'm just going to pop that up a tiny bit. Now with my tweezers, I'm holding them. I'm just lining it up where I want them, where I want it. And commit. There we have it. And here is the finished result for today. I love this. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I love how this car turned out. It's going to be a beautiful one um, for the pe person who receives it. We'll see who that is. But uh, Now, this was fun to make. It, um, I really like it. If you like it too, please consider to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. That would really help me and make my day. Um, below are some links to different shops where you can buy the products that I use today. These are affiliate links, so you help support the channel with that. Thanks for that. Thank you for watching this one and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.